Now we're going to work on installing the, uh, the hood for the XP. With your kit, actually for XP, some of the kits come with an, a specific order to install these in. They're indicated by the numbers and uh, this specific kit, XRS kit, has an overlap in it. So we have to do it in this order that's given here. You can follow this order no matter what wrap kit you use and it will probably be the best way to do it. So anyway, number one is the, the centerpiece, which is right here. This one looks like it's easy, but it's not. This is a dish in here. So this center line is, is what we're gonna wanna line up. So what I do is I fold this in half and I just put a little, a little crease in there so you can see that allows me to, to line up the back. When I get it in here, I wanna line that up, just kind of move it towards the back. And this might take a couple of tries, but you wanna line up the front point there, like with the center of the hood the line in it. So I'm going to just touch that to keep it where I want it. I want to get it in that groove in the middle first and if, if you don't it's going to go left or right so I'm just going to run my finger right down the middle like that. Grab my fuzzy squeegee. Again working from the middle. So that's your first piece. Second piece fits here. This one's a little floppy because it's narrow in the middle. But again, you want to line up the middle. Middle first. So I'm going to line up the uh, top edge. And you can see this will just follow this line. So if you just get that where you want it, again, touch it with your finger. Do one side at a time. So you can see I can move this around. I'm going to line up this edge. Grab my squeegee. Now, same principle as on the side panel. You want to work it into the, the groove. You don't want to tent it over because it'll shrink back. So I'm going to work from the top edge and I'm going to tuck it in there. Again, if you want to trim there, you can. You probably don't have to. Just wrap it around the back. And then the other side, same thing. Do the lead edge here. It's the uh, most important part to line up. You can see I got a little, a little lower on this side than I did on this side. It, these do overlap, again, depending on how picky you are. If you want to trim that, feel free to trim it. I'm not going to trim it right now, but I might go back and do that later. Step number three, we're going to apply the right side of the panel. So that's from here up. Now there's a cutout for the logo here. So I'm going to start down here at the nose. You want to line up the top edge here. Start down here by the logo. Now you'll notice I got this little piece kind of stuck in my hand here to keep it up off the surface. I want to overlap this edge so that there's no, see if I get down too far, see how that, you can see the white. I want to overlap it and overlap it a little bit because um, as I said in the previous video, this stuff does shrink a wee bit. So if you've got a hairline where it's just touching in the summer, you leave it out in your trailer, it may shrink a bit. Run my finger along the edge here. Now this. You can see this is all kind of wavy and funny. That's okay. We can pull this stuff back up. I'm going to start right in the middle. We're going to squeegee it directly towards the edge of the panel. And up here. Now, once I've got that stuck, I can actually pull this back up and get rid of that funny spot in there. If you use the, the hard edge of your squeegee, not a soft edge, um, you can, and you want to use liberal force. And you can actually just do half an inch at a time all the way along. If you tried to do that all at once, it, what would happen is you'd have a wrinkle next to it. It'd, it'd set up a wrinkle. You've got to evenly work it. Now here I'm just going to work this up with my finger. I want to make that kind of come to the center. So sometimes you might have to give it, see how I get a little pucker there? That's not a major deal. I'm just going to work that down with my squeegee. Again, and the vinyl, it may look like it's going to wrinkle at some point, but if you use enough pressure, it doesn't. I mean, if it does, you can pull it back up. Like you can see here, this looks kind of funny, but what I'm doing is I'm actually stretching it over the panel, like so. And make sure that 
lead edge is really well stuck down. You don't have to heat gun this stuff if you, if you feel comfortable doing it. Um, it wouldn't hurt even just to go around the edges and heat gun everything. Piece number four goes right in here, last piece. Now, the key with piece number four on this specific kit, the skidoo, the hypen comes over and will overlap that, and it's gonna span this little area. That's the only way we could get it to work so that it actually looked good on the, on the panel. So, so you can see the eye is going to line up there. So it's gonna take a little bit of effort. And again, you may need to do a little bit of trimming. I'm still going to concentrate and focus on this edge. But at the same time, I need to be aware of that. So it may take a couple of tries. This is probably the most difficult piece to install for this specific kit. So I'm just going to try this. From my angle where I am here, I can't tell if that's going to line up very well. So I'm just going to get this stuck down. And all I'm doing is just gently touching the edge. I'm not letting it stick anywhere else. And I'm going to have a look. Number one, I want to see how it fits around the logo here, if that's actually going to work, which it looks not too bad. Maybe a little bit low, but actually, if you look, I think that's supposed to line up there. It's pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just going to work this area with my finger. Now, I'm going to pull this up. And the reason I'm going to do that is because, again, we've got to work it into this area. This isn't the same for all kits. It's just this specific one. But we're going to work that in so that it overlaps that. And it's just easier to use a finger than a squeegee in this case. And we're going to work it all the way across, just like so. Boom, look at that. That actually worked out really well. So now I'm going to, again, run my finger up the edge here and get that going in the direction that I want it, making sure that my yellow is overlapping all the way up to here. I mean, this part, we need to get this squeegee down before I can do anything with, with this part up here. And I'm going to start working along here, just to about the top edge of this. And I'm going to work this around my logo. And, and as I said before, with, with the narrow pieces, you can manipulate this a little bit. You don't want to pull on it too much, but you can kind of move it to where you want it to be stretched. So there, I'm probably going to trim that because it overlaps. And I don't want it overlapping in that area. So again, work it just in small increments towards the edge. Once I've got that much stuck, now I can come up here, pull this back, and I can work this up towards the top. Just make sure Got it down. Now I've got two small pieces left. Those are my wing pieces. And on this kit, the wing piece for the far side is white, so I'm not even going to bother with it. And this one is set by about a, an eighth of an inch all the way around. You'll probably start from this end. Just stick it with your thumb and pull it down so it lines up both sides. Some of our kits actually have a piece that comes up along the edge here. Um, not many of them, but there are some, uh, some kits like that. That's a little trickier to install, but this one yeah, basically that's it. Everything should meet, everything should line up. And the, the other pieces, I won't go into the details, it's the same procedure, but you're gonna have your console pieces up here to install, your nose grill pieces. Um, you can install those, they line up around the holes. They need to be heat gunned, just the same as uh, the side panels. Uh, some kits have uh, nose decals for, for the lower uh, belly pan, and your tunnel decals, again, they're, they're pretty straightforward, so.